the next step that I'm going to do is to do a train death split. Out of this data, I will use some of the images of each person for training and some for testing. So I can go into this helper class and uh, here or here I can create a new method, call it the test and a train split. So public wide. I will change this return type in a moment to test train split. And this will take the list of face data that we have just read as input and also the split that we will do, how much we want. So let's say by default, I will do 80% training and 20% uh, testing. So we need to put a F here to mention it as a float. So essentially this method, actually I have written void here, but it will return two data sets, the training data set and the test data set. I will change the return type after I complete the implementation. So I'm just going to do it like this. And if there is an error, we can throw an exception. Throw a new exception, ex.message. Okay. So first make sure that there is some data in it. So if data dot count is less than one, so I assume that at least there is there are two data at least two instances so that I can do a split exception. Data is not found. Okay, if there is no any problem, what we can do is to, I need to calculate how many training samples should I have based on this uh, split. So I will do that in teacher number of training train samples is equal to we can do data how many images we have per person dot images so i assume that every person has same number of images so don't forget that so based on that i am doing it so dot count how many images he has multiply by split so this one basically will give us the number of samples for that person and also to make sure that this is a rounded up so I can use this maths dot floor function. So I'm always taking the floor and since this one can give me double so I can use an integer to support it. So for every person uh, we have the same number of images and just I calculated for every person how many should I use for the training? And I can also calculate how many should we use for the testing. So number of test samples is equal to data zero dot images dot count minus the number of training samples will give me actually the number of test samples. And also make sure that if if these are if the number of training samples equals equals zero or number of test samples equals equals zero we don't need to process anything so i'm going to throw new exception and it says insufficient training or testing And if everything goes fine, then let me create a list of face data. And it is called train data. We'll go to new list of train data. It, we will store the training samples in this list and the training data in this list. Okay. So from the given data, I am going to select the training data. So to do, to do that, I'm going to use a link query. So from D in data, select, I'm going to create a new object of face data. Okay, let me write here. 
So what I'm going to do is images. What images do I need to select is d.images.take. How many images I want to take? It's less than number of test samples. Dot to list. So I just selected <coughs> take means how many images you want to select from the given images of this D. So for every uh, data present in the list, I'm selecting number of test samples for the images. And the label will be the same. D.label. So I'm not going to change the label. And then this query will be executed by applying a to list function. And this to list will basically return a list of face data because I created a face data object. So this is the training sample I select, sorry, test sample that I have selected. So I can say that test data is equal to this. Even you can delete it and directly assign this object return from our link. Let me write it like this. So we select some of the data and then can put it in our test list. So I will do the same thing. Okay, in fact, I will write it first here and paste it. Okay, and for the training data, I will use the same thing but instead of taking the number of samples, I will be taking the number of training samples, but I should not select the samples which have been uh, and that samples that have been selected. So I can easily do one thing here, dot skip the number of test samples. So, so I skipped those samples which have been already selected and since I didn't make any change, so using this skip function will skip those number of samples from my test data from the data and then select remaining number of training samples and again uh, did the conversion and now i split the test and the train data and i can return it so to return that what i will do is uh, it should be dotnet framework 4.7 which supports tuples. So tuples can be returned like this. So this bracket indicates I'm returning a tuple, which is of list of face data, list of face data. So I have two list of face data. I can easily return and then I write this tuple. The first thing, remember that the training data and then test data. So Whenever I, I will be calling it from the calling function, remember that the first I return is the train data and then the test data. So we will use this method to split the data into training and testing. We essentially, we need to give this parameter. If by optional parameter is the split, if we do not give it, it will do like this. 80% will be used for training and only 20% will be used for so for to use this one, let me go to this forms and in the face. I'm going to add a new submenu item here and call it test train split. Double click on it and in this event, try cage in the message box dot show. Well, I need to make sure my data set is not empty. If data set equals equals null or data set count equals equals zero, then we can throw a message here, throw a new exception. In fact, data set is empty otherwise we can go ahead and read it so after data set i'm going to create a list of face data sets and we can call them training data 
a is equal to new let me create an object here or i don't need to create an object here and another one is list of face face data and i call it testing data so let us use helper class dot test train data split and we are going to pass the data set which we have and since this one is returning the face data set and the face data set we can easily take it in our uh, training data and the testing data and i forgot to create the objects for it so here i can create the objects and also for the train testing data new testing data okay so i actually forgot to put here static keyword okay so we have a test training split and if there is no any issue that we can write it your text and test train split done for example so let me try that go to the face and first we load the data and then we got the original okay so data is loaded and the next step is to do a test train split and it says that test train split is also done 